What's going on guys? It's been a while. Been a little while, been a couple months. Like I told you, I'm gonna be kinda of quiet. You know, I'm not gonna be making too much videos on YouTube. Um, on my Instagram, I drop a lot of videos here and there, a little short, you know, 59 second videos, right? Um, you know, doing some kick pictures, foods that I eat, you know, little stuff here and there which, which you guys can check out, right? Like I said, I've been within nature a lot. I've been working out. Um, I've been meditating a lot just within nature right like I said get back to nature everything you're looking for is within nature which is within you because you're a part of nature right um, I don't have a name for this video yet I'm gonna call this video um, let me see um, I'm gonna call it this is it yeah I'm gonna call this video this is it and I'm gonna explain to you why I'm calling it this is it right um, I believe the last video I made was a couple months back, I believe, and um, a lot of things have happened since then, right? Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little different scenarios, different perspective of how things are happening and how things are playing out, right? Um, like I said, like from all the videos I told you that the rabbit hole goes deep, so there's all different type of ways, different scenarios. That things can play out it's never always one way right um, this scenario I'm gonna give you is basically on the election if you look at the election right and if you look at everything that's been happening for 2020 which is 2012 um, all the events from Kobe all the way down to the Super Bowl to COVID to Black Lives Matters to oh man, even to the Black Panther, to that guy. Uh, what's, what's his name? Um, Chadwell Bowman, Bozeman or something like that. To all those things that's been playing out, and there's a lot of riots and all these things been going on, and mostly towards if you want to say Black Americans or Black people, right? If you want to say that, because that's what it seems like. That's that's what it looks like, right? Um. What I've ever told you that all those things that are playing out is for the election, basically. It's to make you pick a certain person for the election. So they're basically playing out the events them for you to select that specific person. So what they did through all the events that they're playing out, the person who is in office right now, if you want to say, I guess, Trump, right? Like I said, I don't pay attention to those things. To me, honestly, it doesn't matter who is in office, because it's all puppets, it's all a face, it's all a distraction. It doesn't matter who is in office, right? It doesn't matter who you vote for or whatever like that. Their agendas are going to pull off, are going to play out no matter what happened, right? They just use that specific person to play out the events, right? So basically, that specific person that's in office right now, all these events are playing out when he's in office so it looks like everything is towards him basically right so black Lives matters COVID, all these things and when all those things are playing out you know it's up to him to to take control of it right and as you see everything is out of control so a lot of fingers are pointing towards that specific person that's in office right they're like oh him 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 but what I told you is that that's just a distraction. That's just a face, it's a puppet, right? It doesn't matter who's there, but they're using that to distract you. But they're playing out events, though, to make you pick a specific person, right? So that's one scenario that, that you could see just looking through a different lens, different perspective, right? So everything that's happening because that specific person that's in office they want a specific person out of office and the people them are going to go the opposite direction now because they're looking at it as oh man all these things are happening because of that specific person who's in office which is trump all this stuff happened because of him 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 they're pointing fingers but the people them not understanding is that it's just a game it's it's just a distraction it's it's something to keep you tuned in so you can pay attention to it while they pull off their agendas in the background. 
So you're sitting there looking at Trump and looking at who is competing against and and who is going to win or whatever, whatever. But it doesn't make a difference. So that's so that's one scenario, or one perspective that you can look at things. Is that everything you see here, the Black Lives Matter, is everything. You're wearing masks, all these things. So in your mind, you're thinking that oh, the person that's in office is causing all this, and he doesn't know how to control it. But you're not getting it. That is not him. It's not up to him to control anything because it's all an agenda, right? Next thing you could say to, but I've been telling you is a new world order, right? It, it doesn't matter who wins, whatever. It's gonna the agendas are gonna play out regardless. They just they don't they don't, they don't want Trump in office no more. They want to get rid of him and put somebody else in place. But it doesn't matter though. Same things are gonna play out. Same that is why I say this is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it also. I'll show you an example. If you guys ever see the movie called Black Sheep, which very funny. I was doing some streaming and on one of the stations or the the streaming channels which was broadcast on cable TV, but as like I said, I don't have any channels, I don't have any cable, I just have internet. So this movie was aired actually it was aired today actually and um, uh, black sheep is about politics it's basically about um, cheating against each other basically setting up things like the black Lives matter set up certain things when that certain person is in office to make it look like they're in fault or to make it look like they can't handle the situation so let me let me show an example here um, I'm not gonna read the entire thing but you guys can go watch the movie if you haven't seen it. It's with Chris Farley and um, David Spade, right? I'm going to read a part that gives you more understanding, right? Governor Tracy, in hopes of sabotaging Al following their debate, purchases the pictures of Mike at the rec center, fire and post them on TV, therefore allowing Tracy to win the election. Mike noticed that the total vote count is 1,882 for Garfield County, when in fact there are only 1,502 registered voters. There, for, furthermore, Mike recognizes the two men who set up the rec center on fire standing next to Tracy. Mike and Steve go to Garfield County Courthouse where they obtain the names of the voters in election. He discovered that over half the people who voted for Tracy have been dead for over 10 years, including Drake's father and grandfather. So this, this is an example. It's just basically sabotaging. They're sabotaging the election on that specific person who is in office, basically, because they don't want the person to win again. They don't want Trump to win again. And they're trying to sabotage certain things because now they they already put that face there already played out whatever they need to play out just like when um bush was in office or whatever so they're using certain faces to put there so they can pull off certain events around certain amount of time or years and then they move on to the next thing now it's going to be a new world order now this still falls into place with the vaccinations and all these other things right so you guys can check that movie out and it's funny thing that this movie came on today actually so this is a predictive programming movie so because the reason why i'm saying it's predictive programming because when you watch it and you see that oh this guy's sabotaging the other person who is in office in your mind you think it's just a movie you think that this would never happen in real life but it is happening it's a predictive program and that's what it does they play things out in the movies so you can see it in the commercials and when you see it you look at it as entertainment and you don't believe it right um well you don't believe that it can happen for real life you know for for realistic you know like it never will play out uh, because it's a movie um, next thing I want to show you here what happening now when I say this is it a lot of people are actually well I shouldn't say a lot some people are waking up some people are waking up right this was in my part of town what it says there in the wall says says no to vaccines this was actually beside a school and this was like in a main part of town too right the main part of town say no to vaccines 
this was a um, couple weeks ago right so people are waking up that's why I say this is it people are waking up the majority won't wake up though and I'm not being negative it's just that it's, it's difficult for people to realize certain things when they're so much into it and it's so embedded into the system you know a lot of people work in the system and they don't want to let that go because they might have stocks and they might have um you know properties they might have different things that you know um bank accounts here and there or they work for a certain organization that they don't want to let go so they in their mind they're comfortable but it's 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 not comfortable you know it, it's it's basically enslaving they, they're actually enslaving you and remember the system is not there to help you the system is there to enslave you remember that it's not there to benefit you it was made the system is made to enslave you right <laughs> it's not there to help you right the people who are playing the games they're they're playing the games to benefit their family and and to benefit who are they're close to the people that they are close to the millions and billions of people out here do you think they care about us oh hell no think about it if you were the person that had supposedly control over everybody right you're brainwashing everybody with through social media through the news which is all lies and giving off fake information and tricking people here and there and your mindset is of a um, evil mindset. You have an evil mindset. Why would you care about everybody else but your own? You get it, no? You, you, do, you, do, you, do you think that, that the person care about everybody here? Why? Come on now. Wake up time. Say no to vaccines. Next thing here too, this is in the same town. Same part of town. This is a couple of days ago too. COVID is a lie. So people are writing things around town. COVID is a lie. So that's why I say this is it because some people are waking up. And that's why it's good to put this information out there because people will see it and realize what's really going on. And like I said, I give you different scenarios all the COVIDs, all of the Black Lives Matter, everything that they're throwing out there. It's, it's happening because of their election. Watch when the election comes around now. When is the actual election? Hmm. Tuesday, November 3rd, right? You're going to see when this particular day come around. Everything is going to be kind of... Everything is going to be kind of, kind of easy, kind of slow. Nothing much going on, right? Because everything is built up for this day right here. They want to put certain things in place, certain person, certain face, puppet, in certain position, so they can carry on with their agenda. It's wake up time. It's wake up time, man. Like I said, this is it. This is it, and people are waking up. And to me, from what I'm seeing and from what I know, what I'm feeling, like I said, when you're within nature, you get back. To mother earth within and you get back within yourself because nature is within you because you're a part of nature you start getting all type of information and i know a lot of people will go on youtube and they watch people videos and all these things and they just you know regurgitate whatever the person say right which you know some people give good information but you gotta be careful where you get the information from because just like everything out there you have the news station that gives you lies. You have the social media that gives you lies. And they control everything around you. YouTube, they control. Instagram, Facebook, everything they control. They will put things out there just to trick you. And drag, and then drag you in the wrong direction. They say conspiracy theory. Right? Conspiracy theory is something they're using. Because when the person is telling the truth, they're going to say conspiracy theory. To kind of make the the other people make the masses think that you know the person is crazy or they're just lying you know or they're making up these things that's why they use conspiracy theory but they will throw people out there who are talking and saying you know like COVID is a lie and this and that but then 
when you listen to the videos they start going into other things and they start talking about the you know the election and then voting is good and all these things if you're gonna vote for anybody vote for yourself <laughs> vote for yourself man work on yourself work within yourself there's things about you that you don't even know about because you're too busy worrying about what Trump and everybody else is doing which is all puppets it's, it's not helping you in any way it's not going to make you any stronger it's not going to give you energy all you're doing is giving away your energy focus on yourself look within yourself and build up your energy like I said get back within nature which is within you and you receive all the answers you're looking for you get all your uploads all these things I'm telling you is not from me just watching pure videos like I said, I'm within nature every single day. I get back within myself. I'm getting all the uploads. I'm getting all the information I need. And everything is coming to me easily now. Right off the top of my head. From a couple months ago, I've gained so much more knowledge. And like I said, I'm, I'm being in nature, within nature every single day. Every day. Sun, rain, shine, everything. It doesn't matter. Ocean, everywhere. I'm getting all the elements, like I said, get all the elements, take off the damn face mask, get all the elements, get all the oxygen, get the sunlight. The mask on your face is, is killing you. It's basically, you, you're basically covering up your nose and your mouth. That's where oxygen comes in. Comes through your pores too, but the main air path, passage that the air comes through is through your nostrils and your mouth. That's where you when release. When you have the mask on, you're releasing what you're pushing out, which is poison, and sucking it back in. And on top of that, you're not getting no fresh air. You're not getting no sunlight. Everything is put there to trick you, basically. That's what it is. Don't you think it's, um, <laughs> well, like I said, there's nothing a coincidence, but just as 2020 hits, which is 2012, you have COVID, you have everything happening all at one time, even to the Black Panther guy dying, which he's actually 42, but they say he's 43. He played Jackie Robinson, um, which Jackie Robinson jersey number is 42. And he died on Jackie Robinson Day. I mean, and, and then <laughs> Kobe Bryant, Jersey is 24, flip it is 42. I mean, come on. I mean, it, it's nothing is a coincidence. Everything is playing out for a reason. Nothing is a coincidence, man. It's blatantly in your face to see. But the thing is that a lot of people is going to not really pay attention to it because they're so deep into the system and they can't see it like that. They're still sleeping, fast asleep, pillow and blanket. Right? They got blindfold over the eye. And some people will see it, but you know, they're so deep into the system because they work for the system or they have a job in the system that they don't want to let go because they feel like there's no other way. But there is a next way though. There's always a next way. Like I said, this is it. This is it right here. This is gonna be it. The system is crumbling if you see. People are waking up to their foolishness because now they're rushing through everything because the election is coming up. So they want to make everything go through real quick so they can get to their November 3rd, Tuesday. Right? And like I told you, the earth itself is in a shift. The earth is a living thing. It's in a shift, shift in consciousness. And like I told you, December 21st is going to be a major, major shift. And like I told you, you need to prepare your body for that. And I've been telling you for a long time. Started my journey back in 2012. That's when I got my calling. That's when I got my awakening. There's different levels of awakening now. I got a next awakening in um, November 2019. I got a next awakening, a massive awakening, which took me to this point right now. Everything changed. My mind, my mental state, to my body. Everything changed. So, like I told you from before, there's going to be a major shift, which is happening right now, but it's going to be a bigger shift that's going to happen. 
and they were still going to play out whatever they're playing out. But like I'm telling you, the things that are happening is for their election. And their agenda is going to come right into that, play right into that. It doesn't matter who is in office. Forget about that. Focus on getting back to yourself. Get back within yourself. Charge up your body. Get your energy up. Get your vibration up. Stay off of the animal products, processed food. Get rid of all that. Eat from the land. Eat from the earth. Get your food from the earth. Because what's going to happen soon enough, there's not going to be food like what you guys know. All the processed stuff, toilet paper, all these things is going to be difficult to get that. And you got to know how to eat from the land. Start growing your own food. Right? Start growing your own food. This is important. Because they're going to make things harder for you. And people are waking up now, so what's going to happen? They're going to go hard on you second outbreak and right around the corner is going to be a second outbreak along with vaccination and a whole bunch of other things but they're playing out their election thing though it's part of the game and the more you guys play into it you guys are going to go down with it then you guys are going to be wearing face masks for the end of times for the end of your time which like I said mess up your organs you know get to know oxygen flow you're not getting the elements that your body need and you're weakening your immune and on top of that you're eating the wrong type of food so what happens when you eat the wrong type of food you're eating the animals, the pigs, them, the red meat, the processed food what happens when you eat that? that's when you catch a cold that's when you catch the COVID, the flu all of this is a cold your body is rejecting what you're putting in there and it turns into a massive mucus that's when you blow your nose pure snot and cold come out because of the food you're eating you guys are eating the wrong type of food and you guys are not getting no elements <laughs> so what you think is going to happen you're wearing face masks not getting no sun you lock up in the house do you know that you can lock up in your house with face mask and you'll get sick and you catch a cold same way because you're just breaking your body down that's just basically what it is you're eating the wrong food couple years back before I started my journey I had a bad cold body ache chest tight can't breathe but you know what I was eating pure jerk pork alcohol prescription drugs smoking I was doing all those things now obviously if you put all those things in your body your body is gonna try to clean itself out that's what happened when you eat the wrong food your body has a defensive mechanism where it's going to try to repair it. So when you eat those foods, all those processed foods and all the meats and the blood from the animal, all those things, your body is going to try to repair itself. And that's why you have mucus because it's trying to push out all of the toxins out of your body. But they know this. So, <laughs> boy, boy, they're playing you people for a fool, man. You playing you for a fool. <laughs> if you eat the right food, like I said, the fruits, the vegetables, and the herbs, and the nuts and seeds, drink a lot of water, get a lot of sunlight, go to the ocean, you're not gonna have no freaking problem at all. Exercise. You don't even need to exercise that hard anymore because your body's gonna be at a set weight. And you just need to do a couple push-ups, couple pull-ups, maybe some jumping jacks, maybe some jump rope. If you do martial arts, dancing, you can mix up a lot of different things you want to. But you're not going to gain no weight. And you're going to stay healthy. It's when you're eating the wrong foods now. And you're trying to exercise, you're just killing yourself. Because the foods that you're eating is all processed animal products that doesn't leave the body. So you have to work out super harder. You gotta kill your body, kill your joints, them running 12 miles, all these things, and you probably lose two pounds or three pounds. <laughs> and you go back and you go eat the same food. You just, you're just repeating the same thing over and over again. You're not gonna be no change. And that's what's happening right now. The same thing has happened before. And you guys just repeat the same thing over and over again in a cycle. Needs to be a change, and there will be a change. Like I said, 
this is it a change is gonna come this is it a change is here already and like I said the earth's a living thing some people say the earth is flat some people say the earth is round like I said to me everything is a lie majority is a lie it could be maybe a one percent all the schooling everything they tell you is a lie basically it's just a means of controlling the population through mass controlling that's all they're doing and they need to tell you these things so they can basically it's called programming they program you and then through certain social media entertainment through Hollywood certain movies and actors they have them move the crowd and people follow the actors them and that's how they get their stuff coming along that's that's how they get the people to fall for the foolishness now you have some people that will give you good information but again they corrupt everything they put their hands in everything and control everything they want full control mass control and that's where everything is going to come to like what i'm telling you with the new world order thing they want more control over you and they're going to and they're going to try to get it which they, they they're going to get some people and some people are going to fall for it because they're weak people them are lazy and they're weak and they don't want to wake up and understand that there's other ways of living right the earth is a living thing nobody needs to be hungry there's abundance of food here for everybody you drop a seed in the ground you get plants you get trees you get food to eat but they're telling you that you need processed food and they're telling you you need all these other foods that you don't need so when you don't have those food you feel like you don't have no food to eat which is bullshit because if you drop a seed in the ground you get food to eat and that's the food that you're supposed to be eating there's a specific food for the human body that you're supposed to be eating but they're not going to tell you that because if they tell you that then they won't have the control of you because when you eat those certain type of food you get uploads too you get certain codes from those food and when you go into nature within yourself within nature you get the elements along with eating those food you're going to start remembering who you are and they don't want that to happen they don't want to tell you that because they tell you that then 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 <laughs> um then you won't be paying attention to them and it's all about controlling the crowd that's it they want control over you slavery basically control slavery basically mental slavery and it, it just it, they make it seem like it's just you work your job nine to five you go in your car on the highway you drive around go back home wake up again you be so conditioned to do that where it becomes normal to you it's all about making things normal for you now wearing a face mask is what it's normal because you're going to the store you look on the little end strips in in the store what you see a, a packet of masks with 20 masks in there for like 40 dollars or 20 dollars all different colors with writings on it it's a fashion statement now to have a mask on it's normal they're, they're programming you they're programming you slowly slowly programming you and that's how they're gonna get you they've been doing this for you were born through the vaccination through the through the school and everything they're programming you right I'll show you guys a video again which I've showed you a couple of times I just dropped this video I dropped this video today again because it was 9-11 so but I'm gonna play it for you again so you guys can see it oh Democrat Republican oh awake I check awake though I'm neither one of the other ones I don't I don't need to care about the other ones because it doesn't serve me it doesn't do nothing for me it just enslaved me so why why why, why am I gonna be a slave to the system I'm 
make them laugh and cheer, and then they re-elect me every year. So when the coast is clear, I stop ducking and start back doing dope, cussing and fucking. I kiss the babies, shake hands, wave and smile for flicks. That's my style, my pile of tricks. Triple six convicts, lying is automatic in the government, Republican and Democratic. Fuck freedom, justice and equality. Nigga, just accept my apology and suck this trick knowledge. I'm never going to mention the 9-11. I did mention it a little bit, but what you, what you think a 9-11 is? <laughs> Why you think, well, do you think that planes went through it? Or it was a demo, demolition job? Did it blow up from the bottom or did it blow up from the top? <laughs> oh, man. And who was broadcasting it? The news, right? Come on, man. <sighs> Man, you guys need to wake up. People need to wake up, man. It's the same thing they're doing over and over again. You guys are falling for it. Freedom is a right to tell the people what they do not want to hear, right? Freedom is a right to live as we wish. If you can't convince them, distract and confuse them. The eyes are useless when the mind is blind. The blind leading the blind, all right? That's all it is, blind leading the blind out here. Everybody think they know things, but they don't. Because they're all doing the same thing over and over again. And what? There is no result. From our parents to the grandparents, everybody is sick with some kind of diabetes or cancer, and they just keep repeating the same thing and pass it down to their children. Their children do the same thing that the parents are doing. Weighing over 200 and 300 pounds, freaking obese. Does that make any sense to you? You're not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to be sick like that. You're supposed to be full with energy. You're telling you, oh, you're 30, 40, something, giving you age on you. You're you're 40 year old, you're old, you're 50 year old. They're, they're, they're setting up these things in play to mess with your mental state so they can keep you down so you won't rise up. You gotta take control of your own life. You gotta take control of yourself, man. You gotta take control of yourself. Made the next quote here, um, which is important. Um, this is good too. Money can't buy you unconditional love, which people think that Valentine's Day is love, and people think that giving you money and buying you things is love. That's bullshit. Love is from within. You don't need to give anybody anything to have love or to fall in love. You can look at somebody or you can feel somebody from within. And that's enough love. They're, they're tricking you out here. They're creating you. They're giving you hypocrite, delusional, fake love that they created for you through all the schooling and all of the events that they're putting on. It's all bullshit. Right? Um, uh, where, did I, where did I? Okay, should be done here. Um, has anything you have done made your life better? Has anything that they have done made your life better? I can tell you no. Because everybody is just getting sicker and sicker each time, eating processed food and the wrong type of foods and participating in their events. Like I told you from before, the only way you beat them is to dis disconnect from everything. You take yourself out of the equation and go that way. Try to figure out how to live off the land. Try to harvest your own water, get your electricity. All these things can be done, you know. You can plant seeds everywhere on the earth. There's abundance of everything, but they want to close down things and fence off stuff and grow fruits over by the fence. Then they take the fruits from over the fence and they put it in the store so you can go buy it. So the same fruits that you can grow all over the earth, they're, they're putting it in the store so you can go in the stores and buy it. And then when they want to drop a bomb in you or they want to say, oh, some disease is going on, then they close the store and then you can't get no food so you have to look towards them for help yeah you guys are getting played you guys are getting played man you guys are getting played man <laughs> you guys are getting played dude um i'm looking for that quote here there's a the next quote here that i like um be yourself, reach down inside and pull you out. Be yourself. You can't be nobody else. You can't be them. You don't want to be them. So I'm telling you, the system is corrupted. And it creates war, killing, 
hypocrites, liars. And a lot of people don't recognize that. That's why you see a lot of people behave the way they're behaving because they're a product of the system. Even me too. I, I was at that too. I'm a product of the system too. I had to break that door. I had to disconnect from that. I had to find myself and get away from that. Right? And that's where you're going to rise up. It's time to rise up. And like I tell you, the planet, the earth is changing. And like I tell you, December 21st is... <laughs> if, like I told you from a long time, you start eating the right foods, get light. And when I mean get light, I mean... <laughs> I told you from a long time, years I've been saying this, be light. Reason why you have to be light, because you have to probably eat very little. Like right now, I'm at a point where I can eat a couple of sunflower seeds, um, a date, drink a little water, maybe eat a piece of kale and I'm good. I don't need nothing more than that. I can exercise all day long and have the strength. Because the elements, like I've been telling you, the sunlight, the oxygen, practice breathing techniques too. Breathe it to your nose, out to your mouth, into your mouth, out to your mouth. Practice breathing technique because that will fuel your body. Kind of like a breathitarian, kind of, kind of like you're feeding your body nutrition from the air, from all the elements and the strength in your body. It makes you stronger mentally and physically. Strengthen your organs too. Same thing in the rain. And you won't need to eat that much. You got to be light. Like I told you, your body has to be light like a feather. Unless you guys going to be in problems. You guys going to, it's going to be hard for you. And the shift, major shift, is going to be difficult. Because once that shift hits, boom, depending on the oxygen level, it could be harder to breathe. Depending on the heat, it could get a little harder than usual. And if your body is not adjusted to that, like I told you, to get within nature and start adapting back to the land, understanding the land, understanding how to grow your own food. If you don't understand all those things, you're going to be relying on them for help. And the help, <laughs> it's going to be rough, man. They're going to want you to do a lot of things that's going to harm your body. It's not going to benefit you. It's going to benefit them because they're going to be killing off a lot of people. And make a lot of people sick, which gonna make them better because you're sucking your energy, taking your blood, and basically less people mean more for them, <laughs> mean more resources for them from the earth. So there's a lot of things coming up, man. It's a lot of things gonna come up, and like I said, you gotta be light. Um. There's something else I wanted to say too. Um, I forgot. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah. Also, alien talk. Certain things are going to play out, which they already said alien already, but certain things are going to play out where they're going to push alien talk and that. And they might tell you to stay inside and all these things. They're going to be a second outbreak. Second outbreak going to hit. And a lot of things are going to play out again lockdowns again and all these things it's not over it's not over yet and plus people are waking up so they're gonna make it harder for you and they're gonna make it harder meaning that harder for you to get the food that you're accustomed to eating the food that you're accustomed to eating you get it you're you, you are accustomed to the process you're accustomed to the meats you're accustomed to what they're selling you in the store you're not accustomed to what the earth is giving you from the land like I tell you, start planting your own food. Start growing your own food. Start growing your own food. I already started growing my own food. <laughs> Everything that I'm telling you, I am doing it too. Everything I tell you is the truth. I'm not lying to anybody. Whatever I say, I am doing it. This is bok choy, I got celery, got some tomato. And a matter of fact, like I told you, when you're light and you're getting all the elements, it's the least food you're going to need. To me, no food is overrated. Because I don't need that much. I don't need that much food. Drink a cup of juice, I'm good all day. And I keep my weight. This is a recent picture here. I am 163 pounds now. 
When I work out, I could go down to like 153. When I hydrate back up, which is water and juices, because I'm raw, I keep my weight on. That's me right there. I'm not skinning bones. I'm not withering away. They're lying to you. They're not telling you guys the truth. You're eating the wrong food for one. And everything else is a lie. The education, everything they're telling you is a lie. And it's all there to control you. And everybody just going along with it like it's nothing. Speak up. Stand up for your rights, man. And put the information out there. The more the information comes out, the more people will recognize it. And you can make changes. We all need to get back to the earth and start learning how to harvest our own food, electricity from the sun, which you can, the sun is energy, man. Without the sun, you can't survive. Without water, you can't survive. You don't need all their things. You don't need their credit cards. All the bank you sell, the credit cards, all those people are criminals, man. They're putting that stuff there to control you and tell you you need to pay all this and pay all that. You don't need to pay nothing. You don't need to pay anything. What you need to do is focus on yourself, get back within, strengthen yourself, strengthen your organs, then strengthen your mind, and work on you. That's basically it. And figure out how to live off the land. That's basically it. You are from the earth. Just like all the plants and the trees. If I take all these trees right here and put them inside, they won't last a day. They will wither away and die. Do you know why? Because it needs sun, need water. All right? It needs air, the atmosphere, it needs everything for it to survive. Same thing with you. If you lock up yourself in a house with a mask on, what you think is going to happen to you? Your skin is going to get pale. You're not getting no vitamin D. You're not getting no uploads. You're not strengthening your body, your mind. You're going to wither away. You're going to die. It's just basically like there's no sun out there or there's no oxygen. That's, how, that's basically what's happening. You're sucking in AC all day. You're killing yourself, man. Wake up. This is it. Okay. Um, one more thing I'm going to show you here. Um, this Rakim video here. Guess who is back? This is a good video. Um, like I told you, there are certain things certain things out there where if you want to be a part of that system and you say you want to be an actor or you want to do certain things there's a price to pay for everything just like certain celebrities that you see pass away there's a reason why they pass away because a lot of them sell out their soul and they're signing blood for certain things and there's a certain time that they have to live and once that time is up then you see them die from some kind of reasons I'm not going to go too deep into that but that's just what it is this is a prime example where Rakim made a video about it back in the days. He was explaining to you. Let's not show you a little piece of it. I'm just showing you here that, you know, if you want certain things, riches and fame, you want to be in a certain position where you're being broadcast everywhere, mainstream, consistently, have the biggest movie, number one movie, number one song consistently. They keep showing you every single day. There's a price to pay for that. You want to be Black Panther, you want to be a certain icon figure. You got to pay a price for that. And the price is your soul. No, I'm not a religious person, but I know about religion because I was brought up in a Catholic school. But there is things in there that may seem or is religious, right? There is 
an evil and there is a good there is bad and there is good and a lot of people don't believe in spirituality and right now it's it's a war right now and it's a war for your soul basically it's a war for your energy and the more people they can get is the more energy they can get and they, and they can harvest your soul so it's it's it's, it's a thing where it's a, it's a spiritual thing, man. And there's a lot that you can do with your own energy that a lot of people don't understand because they haven't tapped into themselves yet. Basically, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. That's basically what it is. And once you figure that out, then everything will be easy for you. But a lot of people don't believe in spirituality. They just feel like they're here to make money and just follow each other and do the same thing over and over again and then come home and work and then go to sleep and wake up and do the same thing again and then worry about all these other foolishness that doesn't make any sense and complain about everything and all fake holidays and it's nonsense man once you break away from that then you get back within yourself and then you're no longer a slave to the system right you're just having a human experience that's it with the body your body is a car it's like a it's like a shell and your spirit star being having a human experience star being having a human experience and your spirit is what making everything work right it goes deep man it's 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 it goes deeper than <sighs> than what people can even understand they, they won't be able to get it unless they let go of certain things you gotta let go of a lot of things to get to that point right so that's about it guys i'm not gonna go no more longer than that i think i talked a lot already and uh, that's basically it man i mean this is it though this is definitely it and um i might drop the next video maybe some <laughs> <laughs> maybe some um maybe some months down the road probably <laughs> but we're gonna see what's gonna happen though but um just be prepared though and um straighten up yourself eat the right foods man and just be aware and try to detach that's the way you're gonna win detach go that way focus on yourself vote for you vote for your own self right you guys keep on kicking, stay positive, one love, and like I said, keep showing love. Love will guide you in the right direction, right? Love not gonna lead you nowhere wrong. When you go with the hate, when you go with evil intention, that's when everything is gonna go wrong for you. Love will always take you home, right? There's a good and there's an evil out there. Remember I told you there's good and evil, it's a, it's a battle, it's a war out there, and it's a war for your soul basically everything is spiritual energy all around you spirituality everything is all around you it's like a force field everything is based on energy and you have control over that but you lose that control when you give it away so you have to keep that for yourself don't give your energy to anybody that's basically giving away your soul remember that they need you more than you need them but the people don't understand that and the more they, they can harvest everybody, it's the more stronger they get. And they use you and you pass away and then they move on to the next person. So basically they take your soul, they take your spirit.